Welcome back everybody to Life of the Sea. My name is Carlos and I hope you all had a great weekend. I had a busy one trying to put up, make up a little kit that some of my subscribers was asking for. And uh, I made one and I was surprised of how small it is. And I thought it was it was pretty cool. My, my, some of my coworkers also took a look at it and they, they, they were pretty impressed with what, the, what was in the little kit. And it was small, it was, it was even smaller. I think it's smaller than this one. I think it probably fit in here. It must have fit in here. And uh, I think it's about this, this big right here. It's cool. These subscribers, I think there are five of them, they uh, <clears throat> asked if I could add a, make a, a fishing kit. So I went small, I went with a little tin and I, so I could add it to my, uh, this pouch, my emergency survival pouch that I made a couple of weeks ago. And uh, I, I, I was thinking about it, thinking about it, stopped by the store, I think it was that same day, and I bought a little tin, the little Out Toys tin. This is a, the small one, the small one that they sell. <clears throat> and uh, it fit perfectly in my, in my pouch, in my, my emergency pouch. Um, so I made a little fish fishing kit out of it. So I wanna dump it out right quick, and take you, let you all uh, take a look at it and see what you think. I thought uh, the things in here were pretty pretty useful uh, as far as uh, me fishing. I do fish a lot. You know, I dumped uh, my bag, my fishing bag and my tackle box. I dumped it out, went through it, looked at little little things, little lures, little hooks, and, and I got some uh, split shots. And you know, you, you take a look at it. You know, we'll show you what, all the bad, all the stuff that I was digging through in my in my backpacks and my uh, fishing tackle tackle box, and uh, I came up with this one right here. It fit perfectly into that pouch, and uh, it is a little cool one. So hang in there, and we'll take a look at it right quick. All right. So these are the things that were in my little fishing kit. This is the little tin, small. I mean, it's 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 small. I mean, it's crazy small. You can see my two fingers, and this is how how small it is and I didn't think I could fit too many things in there but I did uh, the main thing here that, that I have is my my braided line I got a hundred feet of braided line right here uh, it does pack small and uh, I, I do like having a real good uh, line to fish I don't want to be breaking it breaking it, and then by the time I know it I'm just gonna have I don't know 10 feet so I know for sure I'm gonna it's gonna outlast uh, the leader line so I do have leader line. This is a 15 pound leader line. I like using leader line because if if it snags on branch or or the fish uh, is too big and it it, it, it won't it won't but break the braided line. It'll break the the leader. So the leader, I think I have, uh, I think I do have another 50 feet of leader line. <clears throat> so I could go and put the leader line on this one and uh, on the on the main line and fish without having to, to use up all the, the braided line. I did put on two of the little floaters, you know, flo floaties, uh, they call them, I call them uh, bobbers. I did put put two in there, you know, just in case the fish are up on top, you know, I could catch them up top. Uh, I got two types of artificial lures. I went this small because that's what's gonna fit in the in the tin. One of these is just a pink, a pink color, which I never used pink until last year. I used a pink worm to catch bass and it was awesome. I never thought a pink lure would catch a uh, fish, but it did and I put it into this fishing kit. And I caught another one that has a little tail on it, a little curly tail. It'll move like if it's a fish swimming, you know, across. The color is kind of peppered, almost clear. And uh, I have other lures that look like this and they've done the job too as well. I got a five split shot. I think they're a quarter ounce each. And uh, if I wanted to fish down low in the in between grass or, or or down at the bottom to a rock bed where some small bass, small mouth bass could be, hey, the this uh, as many shots that I need to put on, I'll put them on to get that lure down farther down. I got three little hooks. I'll start off with little hooks. Maybe get some bait, cut up bait, and then use the other two hooks depending on how how what size I see out in the water on the banks. I'll decide on what, what hook to use. And this is a, a standard um, hook, like for catch a small catfish or the larger carp that's in the in some waters around here. You know, from uh, 
either way, one of these hooks is going to catch me, start, start me, catch me small ones, and then work into my uh, a bigger fish with these other hooks for the for the dinner table. So this is it. Nothing, nothing fancy. You know, it's not nothing, nothing fancy. It, it's small. It. I'm going to try it one of these days. I'm going to take it out with my son, and then we're going to fish with one of these. I'm going to show him how to fish. Like my dad taught me one time with a fish. Uh, I was actually how to fish with a, uh, I think it was a Coca-Cola can. We had put a uh, fishing line around the Coke, Coke can. And uh, I think, I don't know how much, but we just, we just went at it, at it line to the Coke can. And then we put a hook on there and a little weight. And we found a grasshopper or a bug. We put it on there and we threw the, the line. And it was uh, kind of, it was weird to me because he taught me first. Uh, actually, that was, that was the first thing. The second thing he taught me how to fish from a, using a can. But the first thing we were using, a, we were using a, a stick. So we just put the line on the stick and then we would just toss the, the line in and, and, and uh, poke at the fish, you know, hopefully they'll bite the little hook. If not, we would put a little a little sliver of grass or find a little bug. And um, that's the way I, I was fishing. And then we did the can thing and he was showing me how to do the can. It was interesting. I was a kid, I was fun. it was fun. I mean, uh, I, I like, I've always liked fishing. My dad liked too for the couple of times that he, we went. And uh, I'm sure we can. I can get my son to learn how to use this with a little beer can. Yeah, I mean, beer cans or a beer can or a coke can out there in the in the, in the, in the side of the road. We'll find one and put this this uh, fishing kit to use. So that's it, guys. This is the addition to my fishing kit to my emergency survival pouch. Uh, it fits perfectly, and I probably add maybe two more hooks and maybe two more of the little lures and maybe maybe cut down on this a little bit, but I'm not sure yet, but uh, <clears throat> this is the kit. Uh, check it out, guys. I mean, if you have any suggestions of what I could put into this, because it was pretty much already tight as it, as it was, and uh, let me know. And uh, if uh, I'll, probably, I'll, I'll try to put all, the, all these items in my fishing kit on the description at the, at the bottom. So thanks, a lot. thanks again, guys. Guys, oh, another thing. We we, have, we finally crossed 400 subscribers. We passed the 400 mark. I'm so happy the boss was, was uh, I think we celebrated a little bit this weekend for, for the 400, but we're looking for that 500. So again, guys, uh, thank you for subscribing, guys, and watching the videos. You know, get us to 500 and we'll run that, that giveaway. I remember it's the Skeletal, and then my cousin uh, gave me a flashlight to give away along with the Skeletals, guys. So again, guys, thank you for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.